Hey there, this is Andrew Bourne, math teacher from Minnesota, and I'm going to show you how to use your TI-84 Plus calculator to do uh, some normal curve shading. And uh, this is kind of what it looks like. I bet you've seen this in your textbook already, where we have a normal curve and you are asked to find the area under a normal curve. You're given some sort of mean and you're given a standard deviation and um, a lower bound and an upper bound and you have to find uh, what the area under the curve would be. Typically uh, this is a, a calculus problem but there are there are methods for finding it in, uh, in statistics and a really good method for finding it with a calculator calculator comes with this built-in function called shade norm and what I've done is I've uh, wrapped a, a program around the shade norm function to prompt the user for the mean standard deviation lower and upper bounds and then it'll just plot it for you so here is an example uh, problem to illustrate how it works a math teacher ha uh -huh, has 160 students the final exam scores have a mean of 68.5 and a standard deviation of 7.3. The grade scores are whole numbers and the grade pattern is assumed to be a normal curve. Okay, so when you get a, a problem like this, be sure that that language is in there, that it, it's explicitly stated that it has a normal curve. Otherwise, it's not valid. How many students earned a score of 61 or less? Well, what we're going to find out when we do shade norm is the percentage and we can multiply this percentage times 160 so let's get to it here's how the program works you can find this on my website andyborn.com slash math and uh, download it and get it for yourself so uh, this one is called STD shade and it prompts us for the variables. 68.5 is our mean, 7.3 is our standard deviation. Our lower bound, we would really like to put in negative infinity, but we can't really key that in. So put a super low number or negative 1 double E 99 is the lowest possible number this calculator can handle. That's just as good as negative infinity for all intents and purposes. The upper bound is going to be 61. And enter. Here it is. Here's our normal curve. And this is the shaded negative infinity, so to speak, all the way up to about 61. And here it tells us our lower and upper bounds. So the area underneath this is 0.152117. We can round that to about 15%. So we clear this and multiply 15% times 160 students. And that math teacher should really be concerned about 24 students that are scoring really not so good compared with their peers in the class. Here's what the program listing looks like. And if you want to pause this playback and look at it and copy it down, be my guest. But it's, it's easier to go to my website and just download the program. I'll walk you through it really quick. We input for the mean, M. The standard deviation goes into variable S. Lower bound and upper bound go into L and U. Hope that makes sense. And this part of the program is used to adjust the window settings so that when it plots the normal curve it um, it fills up the screen appropriately and looks pretty and the very last line is shade norm and it takes variables L U M and S it's not a very long program but it's very powerful and uh, very handy okay thanks for watching this YouTube video I hope it helps